My name is Mark Trexler with The Climatographers. And if you've seen much information about the climate web, you'll know that one of the things that we're trying to do is to help provide access to actionable knowledge, which is which we define as the right information to the right person at the right time. Now, in some cases, books, for example, there might be huge amounts of potentially actionable knowledge in a book. And yet, you know, you read a book and two weeks later, you've forgotten a lot of what was in the book and and so it, it sort of passes you by and you have no way of getting back to it. I'm going to use a particular book that I've just finished reading and integrating into the climate web as an example of what we're doing with hundreds of things like this in the climate web. The book is Getting to Green by Frederick Rich came out earlier in 2016. And think about sort of three audiences for what we're doing here. One is people who have read the book and uh, and who would like to be able to go back and find some of the ideas, messages in the book, because after two weeks, as I noted, you've forgotten most of the detail anyway, and the climate web can help you do that. Do that. The second is people who don't know anything about the book, but who might really benefit from specific ideas in the book. And as you'll see through the video, we now have effectively hundreds of ways that somebody that might be interested in an idea in Getting to Green may find that idea through the way that the climate web integrates this kind of material. The last audience is an audience that might know about the book, but that simply has decided it doesn't have the time or the inclination to read the book. And perhaps you know, having the, what we've done uh, perhaps gives you the motivation to read the book or to at least take advantage of some of, idea, of the ideas that are uh, in the book. And so we think that the, what we're doing here is in effect potentially helping draw more interest to the book itself and potentially helping people who haven't read the book uh, access ideas in the book that are useful to their thinking about climate change. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the climate web and give you sort of a stage demonstration of the process that we go through to integrate this kind of material into the climate web. The approach I'm going to use here is, is the report feature of the software, which is called the brain. This is not a feature that you have access to when you access the climate web over the internet. It's strictly part of the desktop version of the software, but it makes it much easier for me to demonstrate to you sort of the sequential process that we've gone through in adding this information uh, into the climate web. So here's the initial thought, 2016 Rich getting to green, uh, and we have just a screenshot of the cover. Next stage. So here we've linked specific thoughts to 2016 Rich. I mean, first of all, I note that it's highly recommended, the print or audible versions. We have links to Amazon where you can get the book. I've attached the table of contents, a screenshot from the Kindle uh, book showing the table of contents. The book is part of two categories of information, uh, sources for climate change decision making, sources for social activism, movements, change. So if, you're, if you happen to come in through these uh, headings, you would find the book there. It's also linked under uh, the name of Frederick Rich. And so for authors that have a lot of material in the climate web, you can go and access all of that through that link. We also have the book linked to a category we call Explore Popular Climate Books, which is just where we've gathered a bunch of, of uh, books that we think are particularly good reading for people interested in the topic of climate change. And you can come in here and you, in some cases you you get sort of a little uh, book report. In other cases, you get more detailed information as is the case with uh, 2016 Rich. So this is sort of just the first stage of, of beginning to link this thought into the rest of the climate web. So here's the next phase. Now what I'm showing you here is the idea of going through the book, in this case, chapter 14, Center Green on climate change, and pulling out uh, various thoughts. You know, a comprehensive Center Green approach would include, and then we link uh, different ideas to that from the book. Um, 
by insisting on a holistic solution, we've achieved almost nothing. One argument uh, made, and you can see here we've we've uh, done just a screenshot of a paragraph there, and I'll show you more about what we do with this in in the next version. But the idea here is to simply say that we go through a report or a book, pull out key thoughts and ideas instead of just having text, which is very hard to uh, relate to, uh, we have just a, a, a piece of text where you can help put that idea into context. This isn't in order in the way it is in, in the book necessarily. Um, it's just ideas that we've identified as being worth uh, paying attention to in the book. So this, this process of extracting a lot of different ideas and, and organizing them in a very basic way is the, what we're doing in this phase. Now I'm gonna go into the next phase, which really shows how we link it to everything else. So in this phase, I'm gonna show you how basically the same information that I showed to you before is actually integrated in a, a pretty sophisticated way into other parts of the climate web. For example, this by insisting on a holistic solution, we've achieved almost nothing. There's a footnote there or an endnote in the book. Now, if you click on this thought, you'll see that we've actually linked that document, this paper uh, by Gwen Prince and Steve Rayner, to this thought. So the thought is here. You'll see that, that, that it references an endnote and that material is actually uh, linked. Now, not only is the source linked, but if I click on this, you'll see that this is part of climate change decision making as the source category. And you'll see that we've extracted a bunch of relevant information from this report. And so you can dive to the next level of a particular idea that, uh, that it w is in getting to green by diving into some of the materials that getting to green uh, references. Now, what that also means is that if you're here looking at this paper, 2007 Prins, you may uh, click on this and that brings you right back into 2016 Rich getting to green. So by linking all these things together, you can find your way into materials that you didn't know you were looking for. Now, another example here the precautionary uh, principle should provide common ground. And there's a, a paragraph there about the precautionary principle. Um, now, in this case, we don't have a specific document link to it, but we have the wiki page full on precautionary principle and the URL that you can jump to from there. We also have our index entry for precautionary principle. Now, if I click on this index entry, you're going to see the, the information available in the climate web on the topic of the precautionary principle. Uh, and there's a lot there, including stuff that's very specific to the precautionary principle and um, climate change. And so whether it's websites, whether it's reports, whether it's other things, you, you may well find it linked to this particular index entry. Now you'll see that this index entry is a subset of the risk management index entry. And that has other types of risk management under it and it also has other source categories where books reports and other materials are organized and so you sort of get the idea that you by clicking on these different linked thoughts you can move um, all over the place but if i click back on this and each one of these thoughts that you'll see in in the internet version you'll see the source citation let me just show you that here the source citation at the bottom so every thought has the source citation, so you always know what document uh, you're looking at, and it's always linked back to the original document, so you can trace it back uh, that way. Another example uh, here is this one. So Center Green must abandon exceptionalism. Now, there's a little paragraph pulled out there, but what you'll see here is that that thought is linked to this knowledge base category called communications recommendations. Now, if I click on that, uh, we have pulled together here all kinds of sort of communications recommendations that not just from this book, Getting to Green, but from all kinds of reports, books, and materials in the climate web. And there may be subcategories. This would be linked to other categories up 
up above. And but what that means is that you can find your way to here and and realize, oh, there's in effect almost an entire database of information uh, here on recommendations that different people have uh, made regarding how to communicate different kinds of climate change issues. And uh, so again, it, it's another type of linking and it opens up all sorts of other uh, doorways for finding your way to uh, the book. So what that means is that for this chapter alone and for these thoughts, there are literally dozens of ways that you can uh, go from here to explore other things that might be of direct interest to you, given your interest in, in getting to green. There are also dozens of ways that you can find your way to ideas in getting to green, even though you had no idea you were looking for getting to green. Now, let me show you the last phase. We've been focused thus far on a particular chapter, but if I now go back up and click on the main report, you'll see that all of the different chapters here and lots of different uh, thoughts with little snippets of uh, information added in are shown. And so again, the idea here is not to summarize the book or review the book in any way. It's to pull out ideas that make sense to integrate into uh, the climate web that you can then find uh, in many ways or that will end up helping inform your discussion about a uh, particular topic. And so that this is an example of, of a book of many in the climate web where we've pulled out a bunch of information, linked it in many, many different ways with the bottom line that there are literally hundreds of ways to find yourself uh, or to find 2016 Rich Getting to Green in the climate web to refresh your memory of getting to green or to benefit from the ideas of getting to green uh, in thinking about a topic where your focus is much more narrow perhaps than the larger book. So I hope this example helps you see what we're talking about in the context of actionable knowledge. There may be that one perfect piece of information that if you had access to in this book or in hundreds of other books and reports, that it would really have an impact on your thinking about a particular aspect of climate change or mitigation or whatever. And yet, without something like the climate web, how are you ever going to find that piece of information? And that's really what the climate web is all about. And writ large, we're connecting lots of different topics, dozens of topics, hundreds of topics, because we're trying to make it possible to really break out of the silos, to cross over the silos. As Carla O'Dell had said, you know, if only we knew what we know, how much more could we be doing with respect to climate change? And as Thomas Woodrow Wilson said, there is no idea that has not been worn shiny by someone else's brain. And we might as well take advantage of that. And that's what we're trying to help do. And we'd welcome your feedback and your ideas. Thanks.